don't shut the most important door that he has. And to all of the people in here that are struggling, even with a major sin, don't diminish the major sin, but don't let shaitan get in your head and tell you, what's the point of your salah if you're committing this sin? And Anas goes on to say, subhanAllah, that this young man repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shortly after the Prophet ﷺ said that. And so don't let the shaitan play you into thinking that at any point giving up the salah is necessary because you've distanced yourself that much from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then it brings us back to the ayah. Then what is the ayah saying? If it's not saying stop praying, if it's not getting you to stop these sins and not getting you to be more accountable with these sayyat, then what is the ayah actually saying? And this is the beautiful hadith from Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَثَلُ الصَّلَوَاتِ الْخَمْسِ كَمَثَلِ نَهَرٍ جَارٍ غَمْرٍ وَفِي رِوَايَ عَذْبٍ The Prophet ﷺ said, the example of your five daily prayers is like a flowing deep river. A flowing deep river. And in one narration, عَذْبٍ which means it's sweet.